Hey everybody, Warboss Tay here, and I've got another video for our Spookytober Fest celebration of all things spooky and creepy and ooky. And today we've got 10 Crypt Ghouls. Now these are the guys that come in a box of 10, if you buy them in a box, or I actually got them in a Vampire Counts Battalion box, so I, I have them on these two screws, and I took everything outside of the box, so I, I, I don't have a box basically to, to look at for them is what I'm saying. So let's take a look at what's what you get on the screws and then I'll put them together and then we'll show you the models and we'll also show you what you get left over when you are done. So you've got some great heads. Let's take a look at it from this side maybe to look at the heads first. I did notice that you get more heads than you need on on the sprue. So you get something like 16 or 17, I don't remember exactly, and you only get 10 ghoul bodies. You do get a bunch of arms, definitely more than you need, so you've got a lot of great variety there. And I, I'm not sure when these came out. Ooh, look at that guy, he's like ripping flesh off. This guy's got no eyes. I'm not sure when these came out, but I do know that they're a lot more detailed than the zombies, and they're, they have a lot more dynamic action poses. They're hunched forward, leaning forward. This guy's got a skeleton sla stashed on his back, tied to his back. Um, so the torsos are all one piece. They don't come in two halves that you have to glue together. You just have to glue the torsos to the legs, the heads to the torsos, and then the arms to the bodies by then. And they come with these bones that I'm not sure where these go. I don't know if they're just base decoration or if they're supposed to go somewhere. Because when you take a look at their arms, their arms are open. It doesn't look like they're supposed to be grasping anything. They look like they're open and just like ready to ready to scratch and claw. And the ones that are closed seem to be closed over a bone already. Like they have stuff decorated into their hands already. So I don't know, maybe this guy. But see like this one's got a skeleton arm. And you've got some more heads. some legs and I did notice that there's a lot of great detail Ooh, ghoul butts a lot of great detail like with the scars you can see some of these have scars on them a lot of the torsos too not just the butts this is a great arm because it's got a, it, what looks like a almost the like a fully organed upper body of a skeleton looks like it's still got its inner organs intact not just the empty skeleton and some of them have these weird gothic rings piercing into their bodies so overall I want to say like 90% I'm kind of happy with the sculpts we'll see what they look like when they're all built up but for now I want to say I'm pretty happy with them I don't know if this guy's finger broke off or if it's supposed to come like that well it's broken off now I've had this in my closet for a long time just gathering dust with all my other sprues of stuff that I bought and ended up not putting together so today we're gonna give it the the treatment it justly deserves and when I come back we'll show you what my result was as well as what is left over on the sprue that you can use for other conversion projects or just to to decorate the bases of your vampire counts models so I'll see you in a bit all right here are my ten ghouls painted up I used a variety of arms and heads for them and the great thing your value for dollar when you take into account that you're buying 10 figures you get an extra nine heads in the box and you get an extra seven pairs complete pairs of arms and then three right arm leftovers so three extra right arms and seven pairs seven extra pairs of arms so you can use these arms and heads to accessorize your zombies, make them look a little bit more feral and creepy, or you could just put them in your bits box and use them for later. The, the only thing is that the way the arms are molded, they're molded specifically to fit onto the ghoul frame, so you might have to do some cutting and green stuffing, but other than that, they, I think they look a lot less cartoony than the zombie arms that are in the right now. And not that the zombie arms look cartoony, they just look a little bit disproportionate in size because they were made so long ago. So these ghouls were made, it seems like, with a lot more 
of a streamlined process so that everything, the muscles and the sinew look a lot smaller and taut and just more dynamic than this, the zombie model frame where they just look kind of slow and lumbering. I like this guy. I guess the boss character. He's got like a skeleton on his back. You've also got, besides these extra pieces, you do have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. I cut off one of the bones, chopped it in half, and used it to add to one of my gob uh, ghouls here. But you do have these extra bone pieces that you can use to decorate your, your ghouls' bases or for any other conversion project you're doing. So I'm planning on painting these guys up in my warmer skin tone, so not going with that pale green looking scheme that Games Workshop has because then I feel like I can do a lot more bruised, bloody effects on them. So pink skin with lots of red purple washes, I think that'll make them look suitably, suitably gross and disgusting. Alright, so tell me what your experience is with these ghouls, if you have any of Games Workshop's models, or if you prefer the Mantic ones. I know Mantic has some models for ghouls that a lot of people seem to prefer. And just tell me what your thoughts are on using them. Meanwhile, I'll be posting up another Warboss tutorial on how to paint them, and I'll see you when that is done.